I said that I'd be fine with the results. I said that I'd be fine if we leave this unresolved. I said that I'd be fine if we never spoke after a certain point. I said a whole lot of shit that I didn't mean in the slightest. I mean, half the shit I said was to make you comfortable with our entire situation. Fresh out the ward, not even supposed to be back at school, but I made shit happen. And while I did it because I didn't want to be treated like an outsider, I also did it subconsciously thinking that I had a chance with you. And now I feel stupid for even thinking that. I mean, you'd constantly tell me how perfect I am for you. And how good I look and how I'm doing everything and it's just... (sighs) I don't know. Maybe I did too much. Maybe I truly came at a bad time. But I don't think that means to lead me on even if I was asking for it. Was I helping you? I mean, I don't think I was. I believe I was a hindrance if you ask me. I was in a occurrence in your life that you probably regret. You want those memories to fade out into oblivion and I'm forced to carry the weight of us in everything I do. In my films, in my phone, in my writing, in my... Man, if it sounds like I'm fucking complaining about you, it's because I am. I mean, damn, I was the cheerleader in your corners at all times. But 
you were my therapist when I needed one on speed dial. And you were basically my girl when it came to us being in your car. Just me and you, our eyes and our lips. You were something special. I can't lie about that. You were a spectacle in the nightlight. And not nightlight, the night sky. And now the sky is sinking and looking at it just feels like I'm drowning. I close my eyes and I envision something as vivid as a color palette. You made me into a painter and our feelings were painted onto a canvas of uncertainty. Now that canvas hangs in the halls of Castle Cake. Always to carry that same bit of nostalgia. You know, I say I don't miss you, yet I'm always finding myself referencing you. It's honestly pretty fucking annoying. Especially whenever I'm with Michael and we're just talking about couple shit and then the memories begin knocking on the door. I try my hardest not to involve myself with them, but they know the way inside. They just knock to be respectful. You came and you went. I was there and now I'm here. Conflicted, detached, disengaged, stuck on something that maybe was never meant to be, but happened to only keep us temporarily happy. But it felt like it felt like sex with no aftercare. You probably know that feeling way better than I do, as you've had some pretty shitty guys come in and out your life. (laughs) I'm just another one to Uh. add on to the list. Look, I know you miss her, man. I mean, if you ask me, I, I miss her a little. I mean, it's not to the level you're missing her at all, don't get me wrong. But, um, she was decent for the time she was here. No. Let me stop. Waste all that time on that phone and wondering if y'all ever get a message or a notification from her. One of these days, you gotta tackle that shit. One of these days. Oh, give me a call. Love me too.